ว้าวมอร์นิ่งพี่เบอร์วอร์ดิสอัพดิสเจมส์เฮียเจมส์โรบินอ่าฟรอมกาแฟแอนด์กาลี่อันฟอร์ตูนิลี่ซอรี่อันพอลิจัยส์เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่งเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพักหนึ่ That's been on my mind. A uh, lot of people ask me lah, "Hey James, how come you still single lah? Mm, you only 34 days, you still single lah, bro. Like what lah? Why are you doing, bro? Why is it a problem? That's my question. Why is it a problem? It's not a problem. And the reason why I want to share because today, today now I I, I noticed that the the world is very whimsical about getting marriage and. Single and uh, you know dating and all these kind of things. Um, there is no real depth and substance to why people start dating in the first place. And like if you're a Christian, right? The main thing about it is that in the Bible it does not talk about dating. Bible has no mention about dating. Bible does not. Uh, encourage nor discourage people to date. Yes, there's courtship where normally the families agree first, and then the you know the man and the woman get to know each other, and that's courting. But unfortunately, over the years, due to modernism and also Hollywoodism, uh, the definition has changed from courting to dating. Right, and uh, a lot of people get into dating in the terms of um, let's date first, see how things goes first, and then eventually just fall into marriage, and then see how that works. Unfortunately, it's not designed that way, lah. Marriage just isn't designed that way. So, diving straight into today's topic, what, what, yeah, all people ask, hey. Mister Jim, how come you not married? How come you still single? Face like Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, a lot of you are going to agree. Most of you are going to omit, but never mind. It's okay. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> face like Shah Rukh Khan. Why? How come? Ah, uh? well, I have a lot of friends at my age who are already divorced. A lot, and I also have family members who are also in the same situation. I also have family members who are still single, been single for a long time, and uh, very hard to find partner in life. And to be honest, right, this is the thing about dating and marriage. Dating, if you don't have a matured mind, you're just going to date for fun. And when I say date for fun, there is no commitment. There is no um, real uh, substance in terms of it's just an infatuation, and you're just seeing how long that infatuation is going to last, right? If you look even in your own friendship circle, if you look at all those people who have passed ex and all, how long did they last? Not many. You will find they dated for eight years, ten years, and then they broke up. Most of the time, it's the average, right? From the general population, is always two years. Two years, three years, then they break up. Didn't work. So that's the thing. Like today, people, I think young people need to look at like you don't just date and then happily fall into marriage. That doesn't work that way, you know. When like for me, the way I date is I date to get married. So with that mindset, the moment I meet up with someone, let's say I meet someone online. Right, and I this I'm sharing a principle which I follow, and I hope it resonates. And I think it does bear good, good fruit, just in a different way, and it just depends on your mindset or how you see it, right? So the way I date would be like, let's say I meet someone online, right? because the way I work, look, I'm traveling, right? So the let's say I meet someone online, and then um, uh, we meet up, right? The first thing, of, of course, when before we meet up, we have already chatted for at least one or two weeks, lah. And then when we meet up, 
one of the first things I've talked about is world, world, world view and vision, and also um, your values and principles. And for me, as a Christian, it's really important for me to talk about family, God, and in today's world, a lot not not many people like to talk about sex, but I, as a Christian, uh, I always talk about that first up because for me. During a relationship, there are certain things that I will not indulge in, and I will not uh, um, engage in, uh, and that that would be sex before marriage. And I think it's good to have these kind of principles in life because if you can, because as a single person, if you can have these little little disciplines in your life, you're actually preparing yourself for a better future. So what do I mean by that? look at? Look at my job. My current job is I travel around Malaysia. Next year, I'll be traveling around the world, right? Uh, it's so easy for me to just go on Tinder, go on Bumble, go on Coffee Miss Bagel, meet some chick, bring her to my hotel. I stay in really good hotels. Three-star, four-star, five-star hotels. I get the best service. So easy for me to do such thing, but I don't because of my life. Discipline is important for me. So simply meeting someone and just kind of like falling in love is not the way to go about things normally when I meet someone is always talking about principles first and most of it most of the time 9 out of 10 times the girl will end up ghosting me hey guys and boys and girls it's okay to be rejected it's fine doesn't matter saves a lot of trouble because when you talk to people or you get to know people who have gone through a divorce one of the many common things that they would say that they wish they would have done was 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 to was to discuss about their values discuss about individual values family values family culture um, uh, because your values shape your culture and then your uh, as in the values that your family carries will shape the culture of how you communicate, how you interact, how you behave, how you deal with stress, that sort of thing, right? And all these things play a major part in marriage. There is a lot of, um, I have a lot of friends who talk to me about, uh, yeah, there, there's, there's this one, one girl that shared to me the, not 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 recently but like a few weeks back like uh, all all this why she just thought like oh because uh, she wanted to save herself from marriage so she you know didn't engage and then after getting married they had sex and she realized that the husband is a real pain in the butt lah. so <laughs> if you have that kind of mindset where where oh okay after I get married then only I can have sex that's the wrong mindset because marriage isn't about having sex. Mar- part part of marriage is the sex part, but let's put that aside. Main focus about marriage is to build a life, build a community, build a family. And when I say build a life together, it means your finances, your investments, your your the family culture, the values you want to put in into the the world, right? So you have that kind of mindset that's in the right direction and that's when you fall into marriage not none of this Hollywood bullshit where you just oh find someone and oh my god it's chemistry and oh my god first night and oh my god let's get married that's all rubbish to be honest that's all Hollywood uh, fairy tale bullshit which not it derives from nothing it derives from lust and infatuation that honestly is based on just fleeting emotions right marriage is a reflection of true love now why do I say that a lot of people talk about when they get married okay, especially guys when you get married oh, they see like, you only have one pussy like, you only going to get one pussy it's not about that. If you're thinking like that, that means your 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 fundamental thought of what marriage is is so shallow, right? Marriage helps you grow. 
marriage helps you die to yourself and when you have this kind of maturity that's when you're ready to get married that's when you're ready to not be single because yes the fundamental fact is me as a guy yeah i can get so many girls but i say no because i'm committed to this one person and this one person has my heart and has my life right so yeah you know and for a guy like me who travels right putting these disciplines in place now itself from the get go right is kind of like training and preparing yourself to get married because yeah i'll be traveling around the world you know i have to make sure that my future wife trust me enough to know that yeah okay he's going to go out do business at the same time i need to trust her that she be she be able to hold on the Wow!